Oh my god. Like, so much shit went down at Martinsville. Let me just recap this for you. First uh, part of the race was eh. But then the wreck started happening. The drama started to increase. And holy, holy shit. <laughs> Like, what the hell is Denny Hamlin fucking thinking? Like, what the hell? <laughs> He's such a damn prick. And asshole. Excuse my language, but he's an asshole. All JTR drivers are, except for Kenseth. He's a good one. Um, but that shit he pulled with Chase today, or tonight, whatever you want. That was bullshit. He flat out dumped him. And I'm like, dude, just own up to it. You flat out dumped his ass because you knew he had a better car than you. And you didn't want him, a strong competitor, to race the finish cleanly. He never can run a race clean. Or pass someone clean. The same crap happened in the springtime against um, uh, Jimmy Johnson, where Hamlin couldn't get around Johnson without hitting him or doing something, and then bitched about uh, Johnson being the king of NASCAR and blah blah blah. Well, anyway, it's just Hamlin being whiny. But anyway, he goes and lifts Chase's basically back tires off the ground and spins him out into the corner, flats out and dumps him with like two laps to go. Two. For the lead. What was the point in that? You could easily pass Chase without doing that shit. <laughs> then he, then the confrontations happened right after that. Chase ran him up against the wall, showing his displeasure for towards Denny and which I would have done the same thing and Chase and Denny hashed it out on tr on the back stretch then of course Denny lied blatantly on national television that he didn't do anything wrong and he was going for a championship and I'm like you don't win a championship by wrecking people for a win and I'm glad Hanley didn't win that race because he's an asshole <laughs> anyway and then Chase, God bless his soul, is like the most mature 21-year-old I've ever seen or heard in this sport. He is the one of the youngest drivers in Cup, the Cup Series besides um, Jones, but holy crap, his post-race interview was incredible. <laughs> but did you hear that crowd boo? Hamlin when he got out of his car he deserved to be booed and then Chase there's a video on NASCAR's snap, like not snap, um Instagram, Chase like this livened up the crowd with the, knowing that Denny Hamlin deserved those boos and then he turns around and comes and does his interview saying my mom said if you can't say anything nice don't say anything at all so, he, he he ain't worth my time, so that's the most mature I've ever heard a driver during an interview after being wrecked like that. Thought that dump and Chase knew he got dumped. He in that in that video of the confrontation, Chase like, You wrecked me. You like you wrecked my ass. <laughs> you wrecked me. You know, I thought thought for a second Chase was gonna dick Hamlin in the face. Like that was just the most heated I've seen Chase ever like ever but chase in that in his post-race interview he's just like i i can't exp like help what denny's actions like explain his actions or whatever the hell that was so just, he'll just says he just said let's move on to texas and chase is super good at texas so denny hamlin better watch out you just fuel the beast fuel the beast he took out a top contender because he knew he was going to beat you and be a contender at Homestead. But now, he's going to come after you. 
Chase had every opportunity to punch Danny Hamlin in the face, but he took the high road and was the most respectable, most mature driver I've ever seen in that kind of situation. Like, if that was me, I would dead Hamlin and suffer just consequences. I don't give two shits. But, bless Chase's parents, Bill, Cindy, for raising a, such a sweet, humble, respectable young man who knows not to, to talk out of line and point fingers when sometimes they need to be pointed at clearly from day yet and today by two JGR drivers. Go figure. And um, Chase was the bigger man here, and it showed, and he showed that a 36-year-old driver can't drive cleanly at a track that he's really good at. He's a, He acted more like a veteran than Hamlin did, so. And the PR stunt of the apology on Twitter was ridiculous. We were like, oh, he, so sweet, he apologized, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, people don't fall for that bull. Don't fall for it. It wasn't sincere. First off, he didn't change his story completely. So it definitely was not him posting that on Twitter. It was his PR person or Gibbs just saying. Either Gibbs told him to do that or a PR person wrote that put him on put it on his on his Twitter. And he and that thing said, Hope Chase the Chase fans like can accept my apology. I'm like, F no. You just dug yourself a hole, and you're going to stay there. You made your bed, you lie in it. We don't forgive drivers who dump our driver, lie about it, and go on Twitter and say something else completely different. It's bullshit. Just let me know that was bullshit. And people are saying, well, Chase deserved to be wrecked because he wrecked, because uh, last time, like, let me tell you a little story here. During that race, Brad and Chase raced each other hard, but cleanly. That's racing. Yes, they banged into each other, but that's racing. They didn't wreck each other. That was like 20 to 30 laps to go in the race. For the lead, I may add. And that last restart, Chase just moved Brad out of the way. He never wrecked him. He just moved him up out of the groove. And Brad went back like two or three spots, I don't know, out of the top, into the top ten. And and then here comes Wreck-It Ralph Denny. Like, here, let me just wreck the most competitive guy there is in the playoffs and piss people off. That t Tonight, Denny became the most hated driver behind Kyle Busch. And that's saying something because I hate Kyle Busch with a burning passion. And now Hamlin's at the top of my list. I will boo him at Phoenix. I guarantee you. I will do it and I'll film it and show it to you. So during that, the last few laps, I um, filmed, I was going to film my reaction because I thought Chase was going to win his first race at Martinsville, which would have been awesome because... Jeff Gordon won his last race there, and it would have been nice to see Chase win his first. And he had the strongest, literally the strongest car all day. Um, uh, Hamlin, Hamlin, Hamlin. I just... Some people are just very uneducated in what just happened. They're like, that was a racing deal, and Hamlin apologized, and but Chase, what he did was dirty. I'm like, it wasn't dirty. He moved him out of the way and didn't wreck him. There's a difference between passing, like bumping someone and moving them out of the way and flat out wrecking them and lifting their wheels off the ground and spinning them around and hitting the wall. There's a difference. Chase raced Brad cleanly and hard. Hard and clean. Hamlin doesn't do that. He wrecked out some a top competitor because he knew Chase had a better car and knew Chase was going to win that race. But he gave that um, Rick Chase and gave the win away to his teammate Kyle Busch, who I did not want to win that race. 
So now Chase is screwed. Blaney's screwed because Hamlin drove Blaney all the way down into the frickin' wall past the start and finish line. And then Blaine, Blaney before the incident. I'm like, how did Blaney come the cause of that wreck? You became the cause of that wreck. You became the cause of two wrecks. So F you, Denny Hamlin, and your delusional fans who don't understand racing. Know the difference between wrecking somebody and moving them out of the way without wrecking them. That's not how you win a championship. Chase will win a championship before Denny Hamlin ever does. Denny Hamlin's been in the sport for 11 years. 11. Since 2006. And Chase has been in, this, in the Cup Series for two years. Coming up on two full years. And is racing better than Denny Hamlin. Will ever race in his life. I don't care how many wins he has at Martinville. He knows better than to do that. You don't dump a driver just because you think that's going to boost your championship um, like ratings. Like You just don't do that. That was completely BS and everyone knew that you, what you did was dirty. Even Jeff Gordon said you wrecked him. You wrecked Chase. Like, get a dude. This is like two times in three races. In two races, but in between. Dega and today, Chase was wrecked by two separate JGR cars with mere laps to go. I feel like JGR is out for Chase, going out after Chase. That's just how I see it. And it's freaking... Like, I had a react... Like, I filmed a reaction with the final laps of that race. Saying, oh, Chase is going to win this race, and I'm going to be super excited. Then that crap happened, and I dropped my phone, not knowing my phone was still recording, and I lost it. I was cursing... I, I, my reaction was like, holy crap. If you follow me on Twitter um, and Instagram or Snap, like Snapchat or anything, you saw my reaction to the whole incident. And I didn't realize it until like an hour, hours later. So check it out. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, my reaction. Excuse the curse words because there are quite a few of them. So <laughs> check that out. That was my review for like my whole review for this crazy crazy race i'm not usually a fan of martinsville but that was an entertaining race besides the last laps of that race truex came in second i don't know who came in third but brad gizlowski came out with a fourth and trevor bain somehow finished sixth even though he had a shitty day and yeah we'll go chase will go get him at texas Get his revenge on Denny Hamlin and all of JGR because they're all crappy drivers and classless. So, and they never take responsibility for their actions. And it's clear to see that they're cowards because they can't race cleanly for a win. And J Denny showed he's a fucking coward. Excuse my language, but he's a coward. Because he can't race someone for a win cleanly. So, again, screw you, Hamlin, and all your fans. You need to get a grip and grow up and learn race logic and the difference between wrecking somebody and moving them out of the way and not wrecking them. So see you next week at Texas.